Hey Joe. How's it going? It's good. How are you? Good. So I'm standing uh, beside one of our seed grown bottle brush. This is uh, Callistamin pallidus. This one has kind of the white, uh, whitey yellow flowers on it. It's a, a lemon, lemon bottle brush I think they call this one. So these seed pods are ready and they're very similar to eucalyptus the way they look. This is this year's flowers. These ones bloomed this no, year so these ones aren't ready. These not ones are ready. not ready to harvest but yeah. the ones below it here are last year's flowers. Yeah. Yeah. These little seed capsules yeah. contain seeds that are like powder and what you do is you strip these seed pods off, take them inside the house yeah. and I put them usually in a bowl just for uh -huh. a week or two Let and then what out. happens they'll open up and the seeds will come out and I put them in yeah. a stainless steel shaker Oh yeah. and I shake them around in there yeah. and all the seeds will disperse from these little yeah. capsules and then what I do is I get a seed flat yeah. with ProMix HP or yeah. Sunshine Mix 4. Um, it's it's basically peat moss with a lot of perlite in it. Yeah. High porosity is the HP in the um, Pro Mix. Yeah. So I buy a bale of that and I use it for my seed flats. And you put that in a seed flat, you moisten it down. Yeah. And then what you do, you take that seed that you have in your little shaker and you sprinkle it on the surface of the uh, pre-moistened um, growing medium. Right. And it in your greenhouse. Do this in the spring by the way when it starts to warm up. Yeah. Um, say middle of March, end of March. End of March is probably good here. Yeah. And uh, and then just leave them in your greenhouse and the heat will do its thing and then they will actually start to germinate. And yeah. be patient with them but that's how you grow these bottle brush from seed. They're actually very easy to grow from seed. And when they get about this size in the seed flats you can prick them out and put them in little 2.5 inch liner size pots mm -hmm. with a potting soil um, mixed with some of that pro mix, lots mm -hmm. of perlite mm -hmm. in it, and uh, and then grow mm -hmm. them on a little bit when they're a little bit bigger, and then plant them in the ground. Yeah. They're an evergreen exotic Beautiful. plant from Australia. Mm -hmm. We have so many bottle brush growing different in our garden. Types. This is Rigida. This one here is red. Red. There's some really so the difference in the leaves. Well, they different. They look difference. different too. Yeah. Yeah. So you have and to be in a similar growing zone as we us. We have that. Um, there's one below too. The miniature. Well, it's similar to this um, one too. It's a similar to that. Is that one a white one? It's red. It's and red. It's similar too. to this. But this, this will grow tall. It'll grow into a small tree here yeah. on Salt Spring Island. This one's been in the ground for probably about, I'm going to guess about eight or nine years from mm -hmm. seed. Maybe close to ten. Yeah, this one's growing from Right. Whereas this one now. is sort of more of this a This is more sprawling. Hanging. We have them all over the place. They're but just beautiful. Try them and the, the flowers are super yeah. exotic. Oh, they are. And the bees love them. The bees so that's love bottle them. brush and the Latin name is Clistamin. They're beautiful. All right. And there's many species of them. Yeah. Of Clistamin. Okay. All right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.